Hi, this is Pamela. Um, January 26, 2024. I just got an order in this week from TK Crystals that are ordered on the 20th of December. So I was really anxious to get them. Uh, and so let us get into it. So it appears they gave me a free item. I think this is like a water infuser. Yeah, this has to be a free item because there's a bow in there. I'm really not sure what you do with it other than I think you put some crystals in it and you um, strain your water through the crystals or something. Yeah, I mean, it's in Chinese, so I can't read it. <laughs> but it's a thought that counts, I guess. Also, I started uploading my videos, my unboxing videos on my YouTube channel again. I quit for a while because I got really busy with my gameplay ones, but the only way I can drive traffic to my Etsy shop is by putting my videos out there. So, And some of them are old and the, the products have already been sold, but uh, there are some that are out there that haven't been sold yet. So they have these beautiful, gorgeous car carnelian eggs, and they are UV reactive. Now, when I got it, I saw this. I think they patched it. Yeah, I do. Even though the inside color here is pink, and you can see it more in this one. This one doesn't have, it just also has some flower agate on it. So it's carnelian with flower agate and uh, UV reactive. Yeah, I was a little disappointed when I got that because I don't think she ever showed the back of it. This, I'm pretty sure, is patchwork on there because there was either they chipped it or, because um, that just doesn't look natural, not at all. But, lit, but they're very smooth, like carnelian always. It's so smooth to the touch. Oh, let me check it under our UV. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Well, I'm looking, and even to my naked eye, it doesn't look UV. But these were, when Sarah did it, they were very UV reactive. I'm not seeing anything on the camera, other than that's trying to blow it out. Let's try the other one. Is it UV? Sometimes if you just take the light away from it just a tad, it might show it. I think it is UV, those, um, yeah. It does have a little bit of UV in it if you move the light off away, away from it so it's not shining directly onto it. Yep, there we are. So yeah, if you had a UV room without a light like this on it, it would probably be really glowy. Glowy. And I'm sure this one is too. If I just, oh yeah, there it is. You just got to angle it right so the light isn't blowing it out. But yeah, this would be UV reactive too. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so these are really nice, except for this one here with this patch on the back. I don't know. Sometimes they think when they have these natural caves in them, they feel like they have to uh, fill them in. I've I've seen that from some of other Sarah's things. She's like, oh, they filled it in because they thought it was broke or something. And it's like, but maybe it wasn't. But this looks like it might actually have been broke. I don't know. But yeah, but so you got a nice combination here of the carnelian with the flower agate. And I believe that's called a blue flower agate. I bought some um, amazing flower agate slabs yesterday and some yellow and red moss agate spheres. These are really pretty. I love agate, Ag agate. And a lot of, um, not a lot, but quite a bit of agate is UV reactive. So this could be too, but it's just blowing out on my camera. So pretty little flowers involved, incorporated into the carnelian eggs. Pretty. And then I got this beautiful Golden Bane Dragon Head. Look at how pretty that is. I've sold quite a few of my dragon heads. I don't have too many of them left now. So I figured, oh, I'll get some more. Of course, this I ordered these over a month ago. I had a really busy um, holiday or Christmas over December. I sold a lot of crystals, and it's still kind of going on. I just... um. I think with Etsy, once you get more sales, people look at your sales and go, oh, okay, well, she's she's uh, reputable, especially with the reviews that they leave. So if you get more sales, it's hard to start at the beginning with no sales because then people are taking a risk on you and that's it. 
but isn't that pretty? He is just amazing, the color on him. Here again, he's very well polished, too. I don't see any defects on him. And he's a nice size. He fits the whole palm of my hand from the fingertip to the end of my palm. So he has a larger head. He's not huge. I mean, he's not small, let's put it that way. And look at the nice pattern. I don't know, I think this, I don't know if this is jade, the golden vein, or if it's some kind of uh, jasper. I might have to look at that and see what this actually, what kind of um, crystal this really is. It's called the golden vein. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? The coloring on it is really nice. Mm -hmm. And bam, because I just love UV reactive crystals, I had to get some more volcano agate. And I had one that I put just put out there from that I unboxed a couple of weeks ago. And it had these really amazing druzies on them. Two big nice druzies, and it got bought right away per near. So this one's got some nice druzies in it too. Just not as big as the other one. And that one was very U reactive and the whole the whole crystal was. So let's take a look at this one. And then this one. Yeah, these are all. This one has a little cave in it. Isn't that weird? It's like a, it's almost like it's painted on there, but it's not. And this is a volcano agate one too. So let us see how this one also looks. Whoa, look at that baby. Wow, that, and this is why I, I got it because I saw these, these were very UV reactive. These were the best ones they had. In fact, I think I got to them. They were new arrivals, and I got to them before some of the other big buyers did. So I was like, ooh, I got here first. Yeah, look at how much UV is on this one. This one is going to be amazing. Oh, that's all. Here again, this looks like um, a cue ball. Not a cue ball. It looks like a bowling, um, uh, pool ball. That's all one color. I'm trying to think of the number that's green. I think it's six or seven, something like that. But look at how green that is. You get this out there on a stand or use B light and you're really gonna see this baby. It's very UV reactive. The whole thing is, I have a couple more, I think about five. So this is two of them. Yeah, gorgeous. Wow, beautiful. So that's two of my gorgeous, very UV reactive. Volcano agate spheres. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I pause while I talk. <laughs> it must be my just the way I do things. Okay. And then I bought this amazing fluoride sphere green. Look at how pure that is. Look, you can just, it's so translucent. Yeah, this is very, very high quality. Lots of rainbows in it. You can just see into it. It's I think it's like what they refer to as icy because it's not so dark. But it's got just a hint of like pink or um, purple mixed in with it right there. You can see it. It's just a very, very small hint right there. It's purple. Yeah. But this is just, you can just see into it. It's just amazing. It was gorgeous. And then it's got these nice rainbows. Very pretty. Now, Anna ended up moving back to China, or I'm sorry, back to Russia. So she's no longer selling crystals, at least at this point in time. I don't think they have a crystal market in Russia anyway, not like they do in China. China is the biggest crystal market in the world, to be honest. So she finally got tired of being treated like a foreigner because Chinese people do that to anyone who's outside of China, who's born outside of China anyway. But that just helps me because that way I only have one place that I'm buying from now. God, that's just so pretty. Look at that. Oh, just you, this is one you can just sit there and look at. Um, I, this would look amazing on a lighted stand too. Look at the Look at the rainbows. Yeah, if you had a light stand, this would really show off its gorgeousness. Mm-hmm. Cool. And they're, again, very smooth. So there are no druzies on this one. For people who don't like druzies, and there are a lot of people who don't like druzies, then this would be perfect. 
But with just that hint of purple in there, it just adds a little bit of uniqueness to it, which is what I look for. Things that are just a little different than normal to draw your attention. God, that's gorgeous. And then another two volcano agate spheres. Oh, this one's got a really nice juicy in it too. Look at that. These will not last long. I can almost guarantee. Once I get these posted out there, listed on my Etsy shop, PJ's Crystal Bliss, these with the druzies on them will disappear fast. And these ones that are going to be very UV reactive will disappear fast too. Let us take a look at them. Oh yeah, here we go. Where are we at? Okay, there we are. My camera's not cooperating right now. Okay, yeah, this one has a lot of UV. If the camera's blowing out, but you can see where the UV is going to be at on this. It doesn't take up the whole sphere like the other one I did, but it's got pockets of UV. And then along with this gorgeous druzy, yeah, it's very different and unique and pretty. The different patterns of the agate banding on it too. Let's look at the other one. Yeah, this one I knew this would be like this too. This is a this is like a whole UV reactive sphere. You put it next to that other one, you'll have two spheres that are just nothing but UV reaction. <laughs> now some people might think that's boring, I don't know. But UV, I get a lot of searches for UV reactive crystals, so a lot of people are looking for them. They do, they do. And I had I had quite a few of my crystals were bought as presents for people for during the um, Christmas shopping as gifts. Yeah, aren't those pretty? Is it you know, on the camera it looks blue, but in with your naked eye it's actually they're kind of a pinkish color. So the camera adjusts the lighting and the and the coloring of it. But I love the banding on that one. That was really, really unique. And then I bought this beautiful blue fluoride feathered tower. I love blue fluoride. And blue fluoride is one of the rarer colors. Yellow is the rarest. And then it's blue. Look at the rainbow there. Oh, my God. So whenever I can see something with blue in it, fluoride, I always just, I'm attracted to it. Of course, blue's my color anyway. Isn't that beautiful? They have some amazing feather fluoride. In fact, they got they just got some new towers in, I think. Or new they got a sphere that's actually for sale right now. A feather fluoride sphere. Which you don't normally see them in the sphere shape. Isn't that beautiful? How translucent? Can we see how yeah, you can see how translucent it is. So it's a good quality. Very good quality fluoride. Very beautiful. It's a chunky tower. Uh, that purple on there is so deep purple. So it really accents the blue. The blue and the purple together just show each other off very well. I think that might be a green. Or is it a deeper blue? I think it's a deeper blue. It is a very deep blue. Then they had some feather, I'm sorry, they had some um, fluorite specimens. I ended up buying some of those too, blue fluorite specimens with some purple in them. Look at that rainbow. Wow, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm good. I don't have an Instagram or a TikTok shop or TikTok account set up for PJ's Crystals Bliss, but I think I'm going to start doing that now. See if I can drive traffic to my Etsy store from there. Very pretty. I love the patterning of the feathered fluoride. It's just so delicate and feminine looking. It's amazing how this stuff just forms on its own. All the different crystals that come together or combinations of chemicals. Yeah. Okay. And then I got this Mokite sphere. I don't know why I got this one specifically. It's not as doesn't have the character to it as I normally like to see with the Mokite Spear, unless it was, it might have came from unpaid baskets. Yeah, the other day when I was there too, they were going through a lot of unpaid baskets, so I got some really good deals on some stuff. 
it's amazing the people that, you know, they claim stuff and then they never come back and pay for it. So then some of the stuff that the, these people had claimed already had a discount on them and they're trying to clear it out. So then they even gave a beggar discount. Look at that blood color on there on that mo kite. Hmm. Very, they're again, very smooth. Uh, yes. And crystals, if you buy it from a specific area like Mokite, these only come from one area. So when eventually, if, the, if they ever run out, then your crystals will increase in value because they're no longer accessible to buy to to mining new crystals out of that area. That's why Ocean Jasper is expensive because they don't mine it anymore. Very pretty, and that's why Shatter. Shatteride? Something like that. Sh sh can't, um, sh uh, can't think of it. Anyway, it's a little, it's a mineral that comes out of Russia from a little area. Um, it's very hard to, to get the crystals out of there. And so they're always expensive because of the cost of mining and being controlled by the Russian government. But yes, yeah, so this is a beautiful mokite. And then my last UB Volcano Agate Spear. And that is. This has got um, clear quartz crackling in it. So let's look, check it under the light. Yep, there we go. My camera's trying to compensate. Yeah, you can see where it's going to be UV reactive. Oh, looks got it really per um you, you don't see it on here, but it's where the, hmm, that kind of deeper green color right there. That is weird because it's not in the crystal itself. Oh, my camera is just not cooperating here. Come on. There we go. It was starting to. Yeah, anyway, it is UV reactive. If my camera would just want to focus right, but it's not. It's not working. Well, actually, where that crackling is at, it's showing up green on here. And it shouldn't be. But there should be some UV right there. Yeah, it's hard to get this to show up when I'm listing them, too, because my camera's always blowing out. <laughs> I was just looking at the different, seeing if I could see anything else in there. Yep, so that, this, so that's my fifth Volcano Agate Sphere. And then this is something that surprised me. I remember them having these out there. But I didn't put these on my list. This little head, these little hedgehogs. I got two of them here. I ended up with two, but I don't. I didn't put them on my list. I remember seeing them, thinking, "Oh, they're so cute. I should get them." So maybe I did, and I just didn't remember. Right, I just forgot to write it down. I believe these are jade for the mineral. Afghan jade, maybe, or cauliflower jade. I don't think it's cauliflower jade because of the orange over here. I don't know. Because they don't feel smooth. Jade normally feels very smooth. And they are not smooth on the bottom. Not at all. So I don't know what kind of material that is. But they're just adorable. So I had thought about getting them. I guess I must have claimed them. I was thinking, oh, maybe they put them in the wrong basket. Someone didn't get their hedgehogs. They're cute, adorable. I've been selling more animal carvings, too, because people like animal carvings. Very pretty. Nice, cute, adorable. I don't know if I can show this or not. They came out with these sunflowers that were made of different materials. They had ocean jasper. They had um, fluoride, I believe. And this is dream amicit. These are dream amicit. You can tell that from the back. Not so much the front of it, but it does have the Dream Amicit pattern. Oh, you can on the front, too. And I think this is Dream Amicit. Should have been all Dream Amicit. But yeah, so I thought these were really cool. Or this almost looks like... Let me look at my notes. Uh, my notes just say Dream Amicit, but that almost looks like ocean jasper instead of dream amicit they had combinations of where you could buy you could get the ocean jasper along with something else so i have a feeling that's what this is this is ocean jasper for the main big flower and then 
the dream amicit other flowers because this does this does not have the pattern of a uh, dream amicit very delicate and so you get the holder and everything with it i thought ooh, and they sold pretty good i think they only had one left last time i looked but that is a beautiful pattern very good patterning for the dream amicit on there Mm-hmm. So for people who like to like different type of decorations for their crystals, like, you know, people who like butterfly wings and stuff, this is just something different they can do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is uh, Ocean Jasper. Mm-hmm. I've seen enough of it now to know because the back does not have that pattern. Not at all. So this would be cool out there. And then my big thing that I got. I always see the big for last. And then this beautiful, gorgeous Afghan Jade Dragon. They have some really cool carvings. They do. And this, if you can get them when they're on sale, because they're, they've been there too long, or someone claimed them and then they come out of unpaid, you can get a good deal on them. This is very well carved. It's not polished, highly polished. I don't think Afghan Jade does. Which then, after looking at this, I realized that that is what these are. These little hedgehogs are Afghan Jade. Mm-hmm. So I was right. I was right the first time. Isn't that beautiful? There's a detail on it. Very, very cool. For people who love dragons, this here, again, would be a statement piece for sure. They had a really cool cobra. I think it was white jade or Afghan jade. I can't remember. But the problem is, is the teeth. It, it was very neat, but the teeth didn't have fangs on it like you would with a with a real snake. It had teeth, teeth like like fish teeth or human teeth. And it's like, and Sarah even mentioned. She said, I always saw something looked weird with this. She said, it's the teeth. They got the wrong kind of teeth. They got human teeth on there. And I looked and said, yeah, you're right. So, you know, that kind of ruins the whole effect of a cobra. <laughs> you want the fangs, not human-looking teeth, right? <laughs> but anyway, this is so neat. Look at the pattern of the jade on there. Gorgeous. And this is a nice piece. Big. Goes past my wrist. So those are all the gorgeous pieces I got from TK the other day. And I'll slowly be getting them up on my shop. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching. Pamela out.